Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about how I got my first content writing job for $700. I'm going to go over this entire process step by step so stay with me till the end and I also have some freebies for you which can help you find a good and a high paying content writing job right from the start. So let's get started but before that for those of you who are new to this channel, hi guys, I am Chavi. I'm a blogger, a YouTuber, and an online business coach. We make videos about making money online, working from home, and freelancing each and every week. So if you haven't already, click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. I was working as a contract attorney with this company for almost two years. Now I was giving them almost 12 hours of my day every single day and it got tiring. I had no time for myself, my family, my hobbies, nothing. So I knew I had to do something else and I always wanted to build something of my own, have my own business. So I decided that I'm going to start freelance. Now in between all of this, I was also supposed to get married. So I quit, went back home, got married. Then Amit and I moved to Varanasi. Now, a few months down the lane, Amit was laid off from his job, which sort of pushed us into this entire freelancing, blogging and YouTubing space. We had to make this work for ourselves. The first thing that we did was, of course, to start out as freelancers because that is the fastest way to make money online. So, um, the one and only thing that we knew about this entire thing was it had to pay us enough. So, if we are taking on any content writing job, it had to pay us enough money to survive. So it had to replace a nine to five income. So we were very sure of that. So we were not open to taking any low paying content writing gig or content writing talks that are available online. So now what we did was we set aside an entire week and we started researching on this entire freelance writing space. So we read a lot. We read a lot of things about how to start freelance writing, how to create impressive portfolios, how to create a system, how to find clients, what is inbound marketing, outbound marketing. We read a lot of things, made our notes and came up with a six step process. Now I'm going to go over this entire process in this video briefly. If you want to know in detail about each of these steps, I recommend that you check out the free training that I have linked in the description box below. It is a complete workshop. It's a completely free workshop that you can sign up for where I talk about this six step plan in detail. So now let's get back to this. The first thing that we did was to select a freelance writing niche. Now a niche is nothing but a topic that you are comfortable writing with and you're going to write in. So it could be anything like personal finance, making money, debts, retirement, investments, lifestyle, health, wellness, technology, marketing, etc. So between the both of us, we decided that we are going to take on content writing jobs in marketing and technology. Now, the only reason why we decided to aim and target these two niches are because of two reasons. The first thing was technology and marketing companies have enough budget for marketing. So they have enough and more budget to pay their freelance writing. The second thing was we did not have to convince them for the value that content marketing has. So we did not have to convince them to hire a freelance writer. They were already in that space and they knew how this entire thing works. So there was one step which was shorter than if any other niche where you have to probably convince somebody that hiring a freelance writer is good for them. So we didn't have to do that. So we decided to go with marketing and technology company. The second thing was to select a target client for us. So we decided that we are going to target two, two people. One are the digital marketing agencies for both tech and marketing work and technology companies that have a blog, that have a thriving blog and want freelance writers on a regular basis. Now, once we had decided our niche and the target client that we are going to target, we decided that now is the time that we create an impressive portfolio. So we went on Google Trends, picked up certain topics that were trending in the marketing and technology niche. So we went on Google Trends, found out what is trending in both these niches, marketing and technology, picked up a few topics and started writing on it. We ensured that these write-ups are actually really good so that it can convince the client to hire us as their content writers. because. A portfolio is something that gives an idea to your clients about your writing skills. So it has to be good. Your portfolio needs to be impressive enough for your client to go all wow, this is the content writer I need. Something like that. 
so you have to be you have to pour in certain amount of energy certain amount of uh, good work into your portfolio so eventually we ended up writing 10 articles in both the niches we put it put them in google doc and we used to share the link of the google doc as a portfolio now on the side amit started working on building a one page website for our services as a freelance writer i'm not going to go in depth on how to create this website or what your service website needs to have discussed in detail in the free workshop so you can find the link in the description box below and sign up for that training that training has uh details about how this website should look like and how to create a client winning portfolio now once all this was set and over we dedicated our time on finding clients so we did three things the first thing was to find out job boards in our niche and started applying to all the jobs that came the one i recommend highly is pro blogger that's one job board that has landed us a lot of amazing content writing jobs initially so what i recommend is that you go ahead and check out pro blogger three to four times in a day and as soon as something comes up you apply and pitch to that job now the thing is that a lot of um, like i think thousands and thousands of freelance writers use pro blogger for finding gig so when a new gig comes up the client is loaded with email pitches so if you're the first one the likelihood of them looking at your pitch and responding back to you is really high and the likelihood of them hiring you is high if you are a good content writer so i want you to check it three to four times in a day as soon as you find something in your niche just go ahead and pitch mm-hmm. them this was the first thing that pitch the second thing was to hop onto linkedin there's a search bar on the top left corner of linkedin you can go ahead and type out with a combination of keywords to find jobs so you write freelance writers content writing jobs content writer and different kind of things and look at the posts now these are the posts where people are either asking for recommendations for freelance writers or content writers or they are telling that they are looking to hire somebody for their own company so you will find these kind of posts what i want you to do is to pitch all of them or at least most of them the ones that are in your niche the ones you think are uh, is worth your time go ahead and pitch them okay the third thing we did was to take out a list of companies both technology and market digital marketing companies and we found out their email ids and we started sending them email pitches now putting all of them together we would have at least sent out 300 pitches in that one month out of the 30 to 40 responses that we got one client converted into a 700 dollar client just to clarify out of the 30 to 40 clients that reached out to us a lot of them would have uh, converted if i was okay with working at let's say 50 pesa a word or 1 rupee a word so there were a lot of good clients in there that would have converted but i stuck to the pricing that i initially decided that was 6 rupees per word because technology writing takes a lot of research and i was confident as a writer because law school sort of taught me how to research and write so i set my minimum at 6 rupees per word for technology writing and this was a technology gig that we landed so this client Uh, there was a lot of back and forth with this client, and uh, they hired us for two things. The first one was to write their website copy. Now, let me tell you that uh, when we discussed about this entire requirement of website copy, I quoted them one thousand dollars for their website copy, and of course, they did not agree to it. But with a lot of to and fro, with a lot of back and forth, we decided. Uh, at $500 for this website copy. I agreed to $500 because it was my first gig. It would help me with a portfolio and I was completely okay with working for this client because they respected me as a freelance writer. They respected my time and they respected my business. And the other $200 were were for two blog posts that were 1000 words. And that was a monthly gig. Now I love these clients. These were one of the best clients that I've had, and they stayed with me for almost two years as a freelance writer. So each and every month they would give me work, and it would convert into uh, somewhere around thirty thousand rupees to seventy thousand rupees in a month, and they stayed with me for two years, and that was the best part. So uh, you get clients like that as well. You just need to uh, do a little bit more vetting. So this is how we landed our first content writing job. Um, as freelance writers with no experience in technology and marketing niche so we decided a niche we found a target client to target we created a portfolio 
we created a, a service website we created a process and then we started pitching clients left right and center i have kept this video extremely short but if you want to know more about how to find a niche how to find a target client how to create a client winning portfolio how to create a one page service website how it should look like certain discovery call tips to be confident over the calls when you're negotiating with clients and certain ways of finding clients then i recommend that you sign up for the free training that is in the description box below it is completely free and along with that you also get two more freebies that is a list of 150 plus services you can offer as a freelancer if freelance writing is not something that you're looking for and one page business plan to map out your next step okay so go grab that and uh, i hope this video on how i landed my first content writing shop $700 really help you out and gave you clarity that you needed now you can see two more videos on the screen right now one is about how to become a content writer and the second one is 60 websites that pay you to write for them so go check that out they can help you um, map out your next steps and create portfolios as well and i'll see you next week guys bye bye